hydrogen today we're going to take a look at hydrogen and by the time you've finished um, watching or listening to this presentation you'll be much more knowledgeable on the um, full subject of hydrogen and your knowledge will be probably greater than 99% of the rest of the world's population. Hydrogen is the lightest and most abundant element in the universe. It has gained significant attention as a potential clean and su sustainable energy carrier. The hydrogen, hydrogen in energy industry focuses on producing, storing and utilising hydrogen as a source of energy for various applications. First of all, we'll take a look at the um, production of hydrogen. Um, there are two most common methods, uh, one being steam methane reforming, SMR, and electrolysis. That's number two. So we'll start with steam methane reforming. Um, this is the primary method for industrial scale production of hydrogen. It involves the following steps. A. Feedstock. The most common used feedstock is natural gas, which is methane, although other hydrocarbons or oil-based products like propane, which is a gas, or gasoline, which is commonly known as petrol, can also be used. B. Reforming. Natural gas reacts with steam, H2O, which is very, very hot water, in the presence of a catalyst at high temperatures. Now a catalyst is a substance um, that brings about a chemical change but doesn't actually change itself, so it stays neutral. Um, and the high temperatures are sort of 700 to 1000 degrees C. Um, to, produce, to, to produce hydrogen and carbon monoxide, the chemical symbol for carbon monoxide being CO. C. Shift conversion. The carbon monoxide is then uh, converted to additional hydrogen through a shift reaction using steam and a catalyst. This, this step reduces the CO content and increases the hydrogen yield. D. Purification. Purification. Impurities such as sulphur, compounds, carbon dioxide and trace elements are removed from a gas to obtain a purified stream of hydrogen. E. Compression. The um, purified hydrogen is compressed or squeezed down for storage or transported through pipelines. The second most popular method of producing um, hydrogen is ele electrolysis. Electrolysis is a method of splitting water, chemical symbol H2O, into hydrogen and oxygen using electricity. There are two common types of electrolysis. First being um, proton exchange membrane, PEM, electrolysis. This type of electrolysis, electrolysis is used um, uses a solid polymer electrolyte membrane. When an electric current is passed through the water, hydrogen, hydrogen is generated at the cathode, while oxygen is produced at the anode. That's the two um, terminals where the electricity goes in and out. Uh, PEM, or as we said, um, proton exchange membrane, Electrolysis has the advantage of rapid response and very high efficiency. Um, and the other method um, is um, called alkaline water electrolysis, AWE. Um, this uses an alkaline electrolyte, usually potassium hydroxide, to facilitate the electrolysis process. It operates at higher temperatures and requires more electricity 
compared to PEM electrolysis. Uh, other hydrogen production methods, um, while SMR and electrolysis are the most common methods, uh, there are alternative approaches being researched and developed, uh, which are um, A. Biomass gasification. Biomass material such as agri agricultural waste or dedicated energy crops can be gasified to produce um, a hydrogen rich gas. Another alternative method is B. High temperature water splitting. This method uses high temperatures 800 to 1000 degrees to split water into hydrogen and oxygen actually breaks the water down into its two um, elements. It typically, typically relies on advanced materials like ceramic membranes to um, facilitate the process. Uh, C, another method of producing um, hydrogen, solar driven processes. Solar energy can be harnessed to drive hydrogen production, either directly through photovoltaic powered electrolysis, where the light is turned into electricity, or indirectly through solar thermal processes, where um, the sun is used to um, heat the product. It's important to note that the energy source used for hydrogen production plays a significant role in determining the overall environmental impact. If the electricity or heat used in electrolysis or other processes, processes comes from renewable sources, the hydrogen production can be considered clean and sustainable. Uh, hydro, hydro, um, hydrogen production uh, technologies continue to advance, aiming for higher efficiency, lower costs and reduced carbon emissions. Ongoing research and development efforts are focused on improving existing methods and exploring new pathways to produce hydrogen. Moving on. We're now going to take a look at the um, storage and transportation of hydrogen. Hydrogen has a unique characteristics or has unique characteristics that requires um, specialised approaches for efficient storage and transportation. Um, we outline the uh, main methods used. Uh, one, compressed gas. Hydrogen can be stored as a compressed gas in high pressure tanks. The gas is compressed to uh, pressures ranging from 350 to 750 bar. That's 5,000 to 10,000 pounds per square inch to achieve high energy density. So you, you, you actually, the more you compress it, the more energy you can have in a smaller volume. Compressed hydrogen gas is commonly used for both stationary and mobile applications. However, it requires strong and lightweight storage tanks to withstand the high pressure and ensure safety. Two. Liquid hydrogen. Hydrogen can be liquefied by cooling it to extremely low temperatures, uh, minus 253 degrees C, which is um, 420 degrees Fahrenheit. Liquid hydrogen has a higher energy density compared to compressed gas, allowing for more hydrogen to be stored in a given volume. However, liquefaction requires energy intensive cooling processes and specialised cryogenic storage tanks 
to maintain the uh, low temperatures. Liquid hydrogen is primarily used for large-scale applications such as space exploration and specific uh, industrial processes. Three, metal hydrides. Now, metal hydrides are solid state materials capable of storing and releasing hydrogen. Hydrogen, hydrogen is chemically bonded to metal atoms within the material structure. Metal hydrides can store hydrogen at lower pressure and offer a safer storage option. However, they typically have lower storage capacities and slower hydrogen release. So you can't store as much and to um, convert it into hydrogen it takes much longer than the other two processes. Um, Research is ongoing to improve the performance and efficiency of metal hydrides for hydrogen storage. Chemical hydrides. Now, chemical hydrides are compounds that can release hydrogen upon certain conditions, such as heating or exposure to catalysts. They have um, high hydrogen content and can be stored at lower pressures. pressures. Chemical hydrides provide a viable option for hydrogen storage. However, the um, challenge lies in finding materials that can release and regenerate hydrogen efficiently and at a um, desirable conditions. 5. Pipelines. Hydrogen can be transported through dedicated pipelines, pipelines similar to natural gas pipelines. Existing natural gas pipelines can be repurposed for hydrogen. So um, you wouldn't have to put a new infrastructure in, um, in, in, in a country, you could use the existing pipelines but additional measures may be required due to the different properties of hydrogen such as um, embrittlement. New pipelines designed specifically for hydrogen are being developed. Pipelines offer an efficient and cost-effective method of transported, pr transporting large quantities of hydrogen over long distances. 6. Hydrogen carriers. Hydrogen carriers involve chemically binding hydrogen with a carrier material for transportation and then releasing hydrogen when needed. Examples include um, ammonia, um, chemical symbol NH3, liquid organic hydrogen carriers, LOHCs, and liquid or solid state hydrogen storage materials. Hydrogen carriers allow for the transport of hydrogen without the need for high pressure or cryogenic conditions, that's freezing. Um, simplifying logistics and infrastructure requirements. Now, it's important to note that the choice of storage and transportation methods depends on factors such as um, scale, distance, safety and infrastructure availability. Additionally, advancements are being made to develop more efficient, compact and cost effective storage and transport transportation technologies to support the um, growth growing hydrogen industry. But we must keep in mind that this is a high level overview and each storage and transportation method has its own intricacies and considerations. Moving on, I'm now going to take a look at the utilisation of hydrogen. 
we will take a look at the applications and utilization of hydrogen. Hydrogen has um, versatile applications across different sectors. Here are the main areas where hydrogen is utilized. Uh, number one, fuel cells. Fuel cells convert hydrogen and oxygen into electricity through an electro chemical process with water as the only byproduct. They offer high efficiency and clean power generation. Fuel cells are used in the following uh, sectors. A. Transportation. Hydrogen fuel cells vehicles, um, FCVs, are um, now use fuel cells to power electric motors providing a driving range and refueling um, time comparable to conventional vehicles. FCVs emit only water vapour contributing to cleaner air and reduced greenhouse gas emissions. B. Stationary power. Fuel cells um, are used for stationary power generation providing electricity and heat for residential, commercial and industrial applications. They are particularly suitable for off-grid or backup power systems. 2. Industrial processes. Hydrogen finds applications in various industri industrial processes enabling cleaner and more sustainable operations. Uh, first of all, we'll take a look at um, A, petroleum, re, um, petroleum refining. Hydrogen is used in refining processes such as hydrocracking and hydrotreating to remove impurities and improve the quality of petroleum products. B, ammonia production, the production of ammonia. Hydrogen is a key component in the production of ammonia, um, a vital ingredient in fertiliser production. By utilising clean hydrogen, the ammonia industry can reduce its carbon footprint. C. Steel manufacturing. Hydrogen can replace coal and coke in the steel manufacturing processes reducing carbon dioxide emissions. Um, this process, called direct reduction, has the potential to decarbonise the steel industry. 3. Hydrogen combustion. Now, hydrogen can be combusted directly, similar to, to traditional fossil fuels such as oil and, and coal. Um, to generate heat and power. However, this process produces emissions unless combined with carbon capture and storage technologies. Hydrogen combustion is currently used in some niche applications such as industrial boilers or gas turbines. Moving on. 4. Energy storage. Hydrogen can serve as an energy storage medium, um, allowing for the utilisation of excess renewable energy and addressing um, intermittency issues. The stored hydrogen can be converted back to electricity or used for various applications when energy demand is high or renewable sources are unavailable. 5. Other applications. Hydrogen has potential applications in several other areas. Though they are still in early stages of development, these include um, A. Heating and cooking. Hydrogen can be used for residential and commercial heating and cooking purposes, uh, offering a clean alternative to natural gas. B. Portable devices. 
Hydrogen fuel cells can provide power for portable devices like smartphones, laptops and drones, enabling longer usage time without the need for frequent, frequent recharging. Uh, it's important to note that the widespread adoption of hydrogen in these applications often require supportive in infrastructure such as refuelling stations for transportation, hydrogen pipelines and hydrogen storage facilities. Ongoing research and development um, efforts are focused on advancing hydrogen technologies and improving efficiency, reducing costs to drive wider utilisation across various sectors. Um, and as I always say, please keep in mind this is a broad overview and each application has its own intricacies and considerations. Next, the advantages of hydrogen energy. Uh, hydrogen offers several benefits that make it an attractive energy carrier. Here are the main advantages of um, hydrogen energy. Clean and environmentally friendly. Um, A. Zero emissions when hydrogen is used in fuel cells or combusted, the only product is water vapour, resulting in zero greenhouse gas emissions and no air, pollut uh, air pollutants. Hydrogen produced from renewable sources uh, ensures a truly clean and sustainable energy option. B. Decarbonisation potential. By replacing fossil fuels in various sectors such as transportation, industry and power generation, hydrogen can contribute to significant reductions in carbon dioxide mission, emissions helping to combat climate change. Moving on to number two, energy versatility. A, multi-sector applications. Hydrogen can be utilized across various sectors, including transportation, power generation, industri industrial processes, and residential applications. Its versatility allows for a broad range of energy uses and flexibility in the energy um, transition. B. Energy storage. Hydrogen can serve as an energy storage medium, enabling the um, integration in, intrig of um, intermittent renewable energy sources like wind and solar. It can be um, produced during times of um, excess renewable energy and utilised during high demand periods or when renewables are not available. 3. Energy security and independence. A. Diversification of energy sources. Hydrogen can be produced from a variety of feedstocks including natural gas, biomass and water. This diversification reduces dependences on a single energy source and increases energy security. B. Domestic production potential. Countries can produce hydrogen domestically, reducing um, reliance on imported energy sources. This can enhance energy independence and stimulate domestic economic growth. 4. Scalability and decentralisation. A. Scalable production. Hydrogen production 
can be scaled up or down depending on demand, making it um, adaptable to different energy needs. It can support both large scale industrial applications and um, decentralized community level energy solutions. B. Localized production. Hydrogen production can be decentralized, allowing for local production near the point of use. This reduces transmission and distribution losses and enhances energy resilience. 5. Technological developments and innovation. A. Research and development. The hydrogen energy sector is driven, is driving advancements in various technologies such as fuel cells, hydrogen storage and um, production methods. These advancement, advancements contribute to a broader innovation ecosystem and can lead to technological breakthroughs with potential spillover effects in other fields. B. Synergies with renewables. The um, development of hydrogen technologies complements the growth of renewable energy sources, creating synergies and enabling a more comprehensive renewable energy system. Now, it's important to note that while hydrogen offers num um, numerous advantages, there are also challenges to address, including production efficiency, infrastructure development, cost reduction and safety considerations. Ongoing research, innovation and supportive policies are crucial for realising the full potential of hydrogen as a clean and sustainable energy solution. Moving on. The challenges and considerations of hydrogen in industry. While hydrogen offers significant advantages, there are several factors that need to be addressed for its wide um, spread adoption. Here are the main challenges and considerations. Number one, production efficiency and carbon emissions. A, energy intensive processes. Current hydrogen production methods such as steam methane reforming, SMR, um, often rely on fossil fuels and can be in energy intensive. This leads to carbon dioxide, CO2 emissions, and less carbon ca capture and storage, CCS, technologies are employed. B. Electrolysis efficiency. Electrolysis which um, uses electricity, electricity to produce hydrogen requires further advancements to improve efficiency and reduce um, energy requirements. Uh, enhancing the performance and cost effective, um, effectiveness of electrolysis technologies is crucial for sustainable hydrogen production. Two, infrastructure development. A, production, storage and distribution. Uh, establishing a comprehensive hydrogen infrastructure, including production facilities, storage solutions and transportation networks is a significant challenge. It requires uh, substantial investments in infrastructure development to support large-scale hydrogen utilization. B. Retrofitting and repurposing. Adapting existing infrastructure such as natural gas pipelines for hydrogen transportation poses technical challenges 
due to hydrogen's unique properties, including um, permutation and embrittlement issues. Uh, developing dedicated hydrogen pipelines and storage facilities is necessary for um, efficient and safe transportation. Three, cost competitiveness. A, production costs. Currently, hydrogen production costs are relatively high compared to conventional energy sources. Uh, reducing the cost of hydrogen production through um, technological advancements, process optimization and economies of scale is crucial for its wider um, adoption. B. Infrastructure investment. The development of hydrogen infrastructure including production facilities, storage, tanks and refuelling stations requires significant investments. Achieving cost competitiveness with existing energy infrastructure is essential. 4. Safety considerations. A. Flammability. Hydrogen is highly flammable and has a wide flammability range. Proper safety measures and production and protocols must be in place for handling, storage and transporta transportation to ensure the safe use of hydrogen. B. Leak detection and mitigation. Due to its low molecular weight, hydrogen can escape more easily than other gases. Effective leak detection systems and strategies are necessary to mitigate potential risks. 5. Public Acceptance and Awareness A. Perception and Awareness The general public may have limited knowledge or misconceptions about hydrogen energy, leading to skeptics scepticism or concerns. Educating and raising awareness among the public about the benefits, safety measures and potential of hydrogen energy is important for wider acceptance. B. Um, demonstration projects. Deploying and showcasing successful hydrogen projects such as Hydrogen powered vehicles and stationary power systems can help build public confidence and foster acceptance of hydrogen technologies. 6. Regulations and policy support. A. Reg regulatory framework um, developing clear and supportive regulations and standards for hydrogen production storage and transportation is crucial. A favourable policy environment can incentivise investments, drive innovation and facilitate the growth of the hydrogen industry. B. International collaboration and um, collaborative efforts among countries and stakeholders are necessary to harmonise standards, facilitate cross-border transportation and share best practices for the global deployment of hydrogen technologies. It's um, important to note that these challenges are being um, actively addressed through research, technological advancement and policy initiatives. The um, hydrogen industry is rapidly evolving and ongoing efforts aim to overcome these obstacles to ensure the widespread uh, adoption of hydrogen as a clean and sustainable, sustainable energy solution. Moving on, we're now going to take a look 
at the way um, a small investor can make money from the hydrogen industry. Uh, it's important to note that investing in the hydrogen industry carries inherent risks and it's crucial to conduct um, thorough research and consult with financial advisors before making any investment decisions. This is a standard um, warning that the information we give is not financial advice. Um, here are some potential avenues for investment. Number one. Hydrogen related stocks A. Hydrogen producers consider investing in companies involved in hydrogen production, such as companies specialising in electrolysis technology, steam methane reforming, or other hydrogen producing methods. These companies could benefit from the growing demand for hydrogen. B. Fuel cell manufacturers. Fuel cells are an essential component of hydrogen, hydrogen utilisation. Investing in fuel cell manufacturers that develop and produce fuel cell systems for various applications including transportation and stationary power could be an option. C. Infrastructure and equipment providers. Companies involved in the development, construction and maintenance of hydrogen infrastructure, including hydrogen storage, transportation and refuelling stations, could benefit from the expanding hydrogen industry. Two, you could consider investing in renewable energy companies. Investing in renewable energy companies can indirectly benefit from the growth of the hydrogen industry as the hydrogen production from renewable sources is an important aspect of the sector. Consider companies involved in the production of renewable energy such as solar and wind power which can be used in electrolysis for hydrogen production. 3. Manufacturing and industrial equipment. Companies that manufacture equipment and technologies related to hydrogen utilisation, such as fuel cell components, hydrogen storage, storage tanks or hydrogen related industrial processes, could um, present investment opportunities. These companies play a vital role in supporting the development and deployment of hydrogen technologies. Four, um, exchange traded funds known as ETFs. ETFs um, focused on the clean energy or alternative energy sectors may include hydrogen related companies in their portfolios. Investing in such ETFs can provide diversification across various hydrogen related stocks uh, mitigating the risk associated with individual stock selection. 5. Research and development. Companies involved in research and development of, the, of hydrogen technologies such as um, advancements in fuel cell efficiency hydrogen storage methods or electrolysis improvements may offer investment opportunities. These companies contribute to the technological advancement and innovation within the hydrogen industry. Startups and venture capital. For investors willing to take higher risks, investing in hydrogen related startups and venture capital funds focused on the hydrogen sector may provide opportunities. Startups are often at the forefront of innovation and disruptive technologies and successful investments can yield significant returns. But 
please remember, it's important to conduct thorough due diligence and stay updated on industry trends, technological advancements and policy developments when considering investments in the hydrogen industry. Additionally, diversification and long-term investment approaches are generally advisable to manage risks and potentially benefit from the industry's growth over time. So, that's our um, overview of the hydrogen industry. As I said at the start of this presentation, um, you can always go back and um, uh, replay any um, um, areas you're not too sure of or um, do your own further research. But I think um, after this 40-minute um, presentation, you should now fall into the category of 1% um, of the population um, who knows um, uh, more about the hydrogen industry than the rest of the 99% of the population. I hope you found this interesting. Um, till next time, um, I bid you a really successful and interesting investing adventure.